Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you are here. If you are a first time visitor or returning, thanks so much for stopping by. Consider subscribing to the channel, clicking the bell for future videos and liking this video. Today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite features within the all new Adobe Express and that is editing PDF documents. That's right, bring in your PDF documents, edit text, add images and much more. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So here on the home screen of Adobe Express, we're going to click on the document button here in the main menu here. And you'll see this option here, start from PDF file. What you can do here is either click here and open up the file, or if you already have it on your computer, you can simply drag it and start from that content. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And what will happen is Adobe Express will begin to convert this PDF and make it editable. So I have this top five photography tips that I've been sharing, but I need to update a few things. There's a photo in there and the links that I have added. I've actually updated my website. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some of those changes. And you can see here, it has imported all eight pages. I'm gonna go ahead and click back up to page one and open this up in the editor. So now I can edit this project. And FYI up here at the top, you'll see it brings in the name of the file as well as the date that I am editing, which is today. You can go ahead and rename that whatever you want and save it. It'll be in the Adobe Express Cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and close this menu box there just so we can see my projects. And just to show you, I can click through all the pages here and you also see all the layers of objects or assets on each page. I could also click up here to see all eight pages of my PDF document. So what I'm going to start with is just very few changes on this project that I'm going to be doing. Uh, first off, I'm going to start on the home screen and I've actually not used this logo that much anymore. I'm actually in the process of changing it, but what I'm going to do is just delete it for now and eventually change it up. This web address here, which is www.imclaudius.com, I'm actually going to change that. Now, right now it's showing as Century Gothic, which is one of the fonts that I've been using for a lot of my projects. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my new address, which actually redirects to that side, but I just like to use this one now. And that is claudiozavallajr.com, which will take you to that same page. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is centered with this. And here's a really great uh, tip here. What I will do here with this already selected, this text box here. And what I'm going to do is copy that. So I'll use Command C on my computer here. Uh, if you're on a Windows Control C and I'll go to the next page. And what I'm going to do is just click that there and paste in the new one. Whoops, let's go ahead and delete this first and then now paste in the new one there. As you can see, it's just already there, basically in the same spot. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure. So what I'm going to do is go through the pages and update it. Now, I've got another web address here on the bottom right corner of the uh, third through the final pages. And what I'm going to do is the same thing. It's just make an adjustment here for this one. And what we'll do is uh, go ahead and this is in lowercase. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in lowercase to keep with that theme. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the new web address there, uh, copy it all. Well, first off, let's make an adjustment here. So it fits, put it around the same spot. I'm going to copy that and go to the next page and we will paste that in. I'll continue to do that. Go ahead and remove this one and paste the new one in and it will be in exactly the same spot, which is great. There we go. We've got a few more pages to do that. Delete the old one and add the new one there just by pasting it in. And we have the last page here. And one thing here I will also do is delete the logo because again, I'm not using that one that much any longer. But if I want to, what I may do here is I'm going to go to your stuff. I got my brand libraries here. I've already got my uh, branding libraries. So I'm gonna go ahead and back here so you can see all the different ones. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my brand. And what I will do here is add my signature here. So this will be in place of my logo for now. I still working on a new logo, but for now, I'm just going to keep this the way it is and put my signature right here at the very end. Perfect. Now, what I want to do next is change up one of the pictures. So for the most part, uh, this photo tips uh, PDF that I have, it's pretty much sad, but there's a few, I would say not a few, but there's a photo that I want to change up in one of my sections. 
uh, it is right here, bleeding lines. So one of the cool things when you bring in a PDF is that you can edit these images. Uh, click on the image, you can make some adjustments. So I'm not gonna go through all that for this uh, demo here, but what I do wanna show is basically I have this image here, which is uh, one of the leading lines, but I found a new image that I uh, want to use for this demonstration for this purpose here. And so what I'm going to do is bring in that new image so let's go ahead and we will use the option to replace which is right up here and i will upload from my device i've already got the image ready here and there it is i've got that new image and what's nice it actually places it in that same cropped area i'm gonna go ahead and click the image here and i will double click to show you there is the crop that the original image i'll go ahead and just undo here to show you there's the original crop and i will redo and show you the new one so i've got these leading lines from these buildings showing into that uh light right there which says aztec so i wanted to use that as the new example so now that i've made the edits that i want so now to the next step here so i've made the changes i've had a new website address i've got everything the same and so what I'm going to do now is click on download here and I have the option here. You'll see that it already has PDF selected. Since I made changes to all the pages, I'm going to select all pages and just FYI, it will download with this new name. So I can replace my original file with this one or keep the original as a backup as an original and then rename this one. So what I'll do here is I will rename this project. We're going to call this at I'm going to say 2023 because it's a 2023. Whoops. I want to name it the 2023 version. Let that save. Perfect. And now I'll go back to download and again, all pages and we will choose download just FYI. You can also download as individual PDF files, but this is actually a complete PDF file. So I'll choose download and let Adobe Express download this entire PDF with my new edits. And now I can go ahead and share this one with my audience. And that's how to edit PDF documents in Adobe Express. And that's your turn to give it a try. If you have any comments or questions about this video, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the video, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with your friends. Thanks again for stopping by and watching this video. And as always, be good to one another and have fun creating. Peace.